Hello foodies, how are you doing? Today I'm making one of my favorite dishes ever, coconut shrimp. I'm going to be showing you two ways that I make coconut shrimp and I'll also be sharing with you a recipe for pina colada dip. All right. So this is inspired by Red Lobster, guys. I always have that pina colada, that pineapple coconut flavored sauce with the coconut shrimp. And I think I've had it somewhere else too, but I wanted to recreate it so I can have it at home. So I think they actually use a pina colada mix, like a beverage mix. I don't have that at home, but you know me, I'm gonna use what I have, all right? So we're gonna make this wonderful dip first so that it can chill and then we'll move on to the shrimp all right so you'll notice i'm using coconut cream you want to use coconut cream if you can find it because it's so rich in flavor and it's really thick if you can't find the coconut cream go ahead and use coconut milk just find the richest um the richest coconut um, milk that you can find all right so we're gonna make this and it's gonna have, it's literally has a flavor of a pina colada. So delicious. So guys, I'm adding this slurry here. This is pineapple juice mixed with cornstarch. Usually when I'm doing a slurry, which is like a thickening agent, usually I would use just water. But because we're doing this pina colada um, dip, right? And we want it to be really rich in flavor, I used pineapple juice to dissolve that cornstarch to make the slurry instead of using just plain old water. Now make sure you taste it. I tasted it and I felt like it needed just a little more depth. So I added a little brown sugar because I know the white sugar added sweetness, but that brown sugar just gave it a little more depth in flavor. So let that chill out for a while. Let's move on to the coconut shrimp. All right. So this is going to be our batter, guys. So this is the first way that um, I make coconut shrimp. There's so many ways. This is one of my favorites. So you make a batter first and we're gonna just dip the shrimp in the batter and then the coconut. Okay, so let's do the batter here. So guys, these shrimp are not very big, but I implore you to use the biggest shrimp you can find and I'm going to butterfly them. When you butterfly the shrimp, you basically slit in half without going all the way through and it gives the illusion that the shrimp is bigger. I really was craving coconut shrimp, so I just used the shrimp that I had at home. So you just go right in there where the vein would be and just slowly slice. Don't go too quickly because then you'll cut right through. You don't want to cut right through, see? You want it to still be attached there. So just a slit and then open that up and that's your butterfly shrimp, okay? It just gives the illusion that the shrimp is bigger. Guys, get the biggest shrimp you can, okay? I just used these because this was in my freezer and I really wanted the coconut shrimp, okay? So we have the batter on the left. Just swirl the shrimp in there. You can wipe off any excess if there's excess. And then you're gonna go into the coconut. Now, it's usually best to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. But you know, if you're busy and you're rushing, things get mixed up. That's fine. The important thing is you're gonna press that coconut into the shrimp. And you have to open up the shrimp because remember we butterflied it. So you want it to have that butterflied shape. So make sure it's not closed. Open it up and press the coconut in there. 
and that's it. If you need to wash your hands in between, that's fine. Okay, the reward is what we're working for, the delicious shrimp. So I like to put this in the freezer to firm up. No specific time, just let it firm up and then I fry it. So I'm using a deep fryer just because it gives me a more even color. You don't have to use a deep fryer, you can use a regular pan. Just don't overcrowd it and make sure you maintain the heat. And there you go, it's simple. You don't wanna fry them for too long because they're shrimp, right? So they will get overcooked. So after you fry them, drain them on a cooling rack, not on paper towels, okay? You don't need to absorb any oil because it's fried properly. And there is our delicious dip taken right out of the fridge and you're good to go that's perfect that was easy right guys very very easy and it's so delicious like that hot crispy coconut shrimp and then the pina colada dip really really nice take a look at some more shots of this so good guys so you'll see that my shrimp are like a small to medium make sure you get the biggest shrimp you can because trust me it's so rewarding because you have the juicy big shrimp with the crispy coconut coating so good and then look at the sauce it tastes amazing guys all right let's move on to the other method that i use all right so we still have our shrimp the tail is still intact So this time I'm going to season the shrimp. Last method I seasoned the batter with some salt. These are the shrimp that I made for my pineapple bowls recipe. So good guys. I'll leave the link in the description. You should definitely check that out. So I seasoned this and then we are going to move on to the coating afterwards. So for this method we're using some flour and some beaten eggs and then we have a mixture here we have some panko breadcrumbs these are just Japanese breadcrumbs and then some coconut you want to get the sweetened dried coconut and this breadcrumbs add so much texture because it's flaky it's not like the regular breadcrumbs all right so make sure you get those or only use coconut don't mix the regular breadcrumbs with this okay so again, our objective is to get that nice coating done. So make sure you dip everything properly. And then when you get to the coconut and panko breadcrumbs mixture, you're gonna make sure you press that into the shrimp properly. We'll do the same thing where I chill it first and then we will fry it the same way 350 about three minutes all right if you're using large shrimp like the jumbo or colossal shrimp then just check it out and then if it's not golden brown fry it a little bit more and you will be good all right now ideally you want to serve these immediately so if you have to drain them drain them on a wire rack quickly and then serve them up because they are best when they are hot if you do want to reheat them you can always put it in the oven at 350 for just a few you know maybe a minute or so until they crisp up again so that's it guys i've showed you two different methods Please let me know which one do you think looks better? All right, which one do you use at home? I know you'll enjoy this recipe and that fantastic pina colada dip is really, really good. So let me know how you like it once you try, because I know you're gonna try this. It is so good. And remember to get those big shrimp, guys, all right? Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.